Hey there, Chelsea here with CarePack. So, a client has asked you to set up designs for a rotogravure printed project. You probably know the struggle of dealing with color registration issues and want to avoid unforeseen problems. Well, worry no more. Today I'm going to show you how to create traps in Adobe Illustrator to avoid those pesky color gaps. Let's dive in. Before we get started, let's talk about what traps are and why they're important. Traps are small overlaps between colors used to prevent unsightly gaps in multicolored designs when printing using a plate process like rotogravure or flexography. The alignment of the printing cylinders cannot be 100% accurate, especially on short print runs. To obscure the gaps, the color interaction area is trapped essentially overprinted. So let's learn how to create traps and save ourselves from this headache. There are two types of traps, spread traps and choke traps. You can either positively or negatively offset the path depending on which color you want to overlay. Positive 0.2 millimeter or negative 0.2 millimeter are common traps. So when should you choose a spread or a choke? There are some technical rules regarding this decision, but as a general rule of thumb is this. A spread trap or positive offset should be used where a lighter color falls within a darker background area, while a choke trap or a negative offset is used when the object being trapped is darker than the background. Adobe has a built-in trapping function, but it's not very good. Instead, I'm going to show you a quick and easy method to trap art using path offsets and transparency darkening. First things first, make sure your artwork is in CMYK color mode for printing. Next, select the topmost object you intend to trap. Click Object, Path, Offset Path. Select a negative or positive offset depending on the type of trap you want to create. Then click Transparency, Darken. You'd continue this procedure for all the areas of color interaction. It can be a little trickier when you need to partially trap or have many colors interacting in the same region of your design, but we'll save the advanced stuff for another video. There you have it folks, a quick guide on trapping artwork in Adobe Illustrator. Still not sure on trapping? Don't worry, our design team at CarePack can handle it all for you. From design to manufacturing, we've got you covered. So contact CarePack today and turn your dream bag into a reality.